السلام علیکم کیا حال کیسے ہیں اور کیا ہو رہا ہے صبح بہت سارے ایشوز آپ کر رہے ہوں گے نہیں کر رہے ہوں گے سال ختم ہو رہا ہے اور کہیں نہ کہیں آج بیس تاریخ ہے اور دس دن بعد گیارہ دن بعد ایز آن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ان شاء اللہ این ٹو تھاؤزینڈ ٹوئنٹی ٹوئنٹی فور سو آپ کہیں نہ کہیں اپنی پرفارمنس کو بڑھانا چاہتے ہوں گے ایک اچھے لیول پہ نا سو بہت ساری چیزیں آپ آپ کی پرفارمنس ہے آپ کے پیسے ہیں انکم ہے بہت ساری چیزیں بڑھنی چاہیے گی یس سو اے آئی آپ کو اس چیزوں سے کیسے ہیلپ کر سکتا ہے کہ اے آئی میں بہت سارے برینس ہیں بہت سارے چیزیں ہیں سو کال اینی ایک اپلیکیشن ہے اس کو میں ڈسکور کر رہا تھا تو اس میں اور بھی کریکٹرز ہیں بہت سارے کال اینی کے علاوہ بھی اس میں ایک ہے کریکٹر لونا لونا وہ ایک اے آئی کوچ ہے وہ آپ کو ہیلپ کرے گی آپ کی مزید کویریز کو اور ایک ٹیکنیکلی ایک آپ کو انٹرنشپ دے گی اس لحاظ سے آپ وہ سوالات پوچھتے جاؤ گے اور اس کے جوابات آہ دے دی جائے گی سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ اٹ اور میں شیئر کرتا ہوں اسکرین اور یہ چیزوں کو ہم ایکسپلور کرتے ہیں کہ یہ کس طرح مزید کال ہم اس کو کر سکتے ہیں لیٹ سپوز ویڈیو کو کال میں نے کر لیا اس کا ویب پرشن ہے یہ ایز آن اس پرشن میں پھر وہ آپ کو ہیلپ کر رہی ہوگی ٹھیک ہے تو یہ ایک اے آئی کوچ ہے I'm Luna, your trusted friend. But hey, I'm always here to offer some advice or lend an ear if you need it. How can I help you today? Okay, help me to tell me about how can I grow my income. Uh, looking to boost that bank account, huh? <laughs> well, there are a few approaches you can take to grow your income. Here are a couple of ideas. One, develop new skills. Consider investing in yourself by learning new skills or enhancing your existing ones. This can make you more valuable in your current job or open up opportunities for higher paying positions. Two, side hustle. If you have some spare time and a passion or talent, why not turn it into a side hustle? Whether it's freelancing, selling handmade crafts, or offering a service, a side hustle can bring in some extra cash. Three, network, network, network. Building connections and maintaining a strong, Professional network can lead to new job opportunities or business partnerships that can boost your income. Four, ask for a raise. If you've been putting in the hard work and feel like you deserve a raise, don't be afraid to have a conversation with your boss about it. Just make sure to highlight your accomplishments and present a strong case. Remember, growing your income takes time and effort, so be patient and stay focused. Oh, I see you're having a good laugh there. Well, growing your income is definitely a topic worth exploring. There are a few things you can consider to boost your earnings. First, you could look for opportunities to advance in your current job or ask for a raise. It never hurts to advocate for yourself. If that's not an option, you could explore side hustles or freelancing gigs that align with your skills and interests. It's a great way to earn some extra cash and maybe even discover a new passion. Another idea is to invest in yourself by acquiring new skills or furthering your education. Sometimes, A little extra knowledge can open doors to higher paying positions or even allow you to start your own business. Of course, it's always good to be mindful of your spending habits too. Budgeting and saving can help you make the most of your current income. So, what do you think? Any of these ideas spark your interest? Or do you have any other thoughts on growing your income? And hey, if you need any more specific advice, just let me know. Yeah, many more piece people about tech. Tell, tell me about uh, digital marketing. Can you describe digital marketing? How can it help uh, income? Absolutely. Digital marketing is a powerful tool that can help you boost your income in various ways. Here are a few ways digital marketing can make a difference. One, increased visibility by utilizing digital marketing strategies such as search engine optimizations, EO, and social media marketing. You can increase your online visibility. This can lead to more exposure for your business or personal brand. attracting more customers or clients and ultimately increasing your income. Two, targeted advertising. With digital marketing, you can target specific audiences based on demographics, interests, and behaviors. This allows you to reach the right people with your products or services, increasing the chances of conversion and revenue generation. Three, cost-effective marketing. Compared to tr traditional marketing methods, digital marketing can be more cost-effective. You can leverage social media platforms, email marketing, and content marketing to reach your target audience without breaking the bank. Four, data-driven decision-making. 
digital marketing provides you with valuable data and analytics that can help you make informed decisions. By analyzing metrics such as website traffic, conversion rates, and customer behavior, you can optimize your marketing strategies for better results and increased income. 5. E-commerce opportunities. Digital marketing opens up the world of e-commerce, allowing you to sell products or services online. Whether it's through your own website, online marketplaces, or social media platforms, you can tap into a global customer base and expand your income potential. Of course, digital marketing is a vast field with many different strategies and tactics. It's always a good idea to do some research, take courses, or consult with professionals to make the most of your digital marketing efforts. So, are you feeling inspired to dive into the world of digital marketing? Ah, that's amazing. Can you tell me about um, how you feel? Like, uh, what can be better than easier or smarter walking for income? Ah, walking for income. That's an interesting idea. While it may not be a traditional way to earn money, there are actually a few ways you can turn your walks into an income-generating activity. Here are a couple of ideas. One, dog walking. If you enjoy spending time with furry friends, you could offer your services as a dog walker. Many pet owners are busy and would appreciate someone trustworthy to take their dogs out for walks. Plus, it's a great way to get some exercise and earn money at the same time. Two, delivery services. With the rise of on-demand delivery services, you could consider becoming a delivery person. Whether it's delivering groceries, meals, or packages, you can turn your walks into a source of income. Just make sure to check out the available platforms in your area and see if it's a good fit for you. Three, fitness coaching. If you're passionate about fitness and walking, you could become a walking or fitness coach. Offer guided walking sessions or create personalized walking programs for individuals or groups. You can even incorporate some mindfulness and relaxation techniques to make it a holistic experience. Remember, turning walking into an income source may require some creativity and effort on your part. But hey, if you enjoy walking and can find a way to make it work, it could be a fun and rewarding way to earn money. So, lace up those sneakers and start exploring the possibilities. Yeah, that's wonderful. So uh, tell me about how can we practice each other for English? Practicing English together sounds like a fantastic idea. There are plenty of fun and effective ways we can practice and improve our English skills. Here are a few suggestions. One, conversation practice. We can have regular conversations in English, discussing various topics that interest us. This will help us practice our speaking and listening skills, as well as expand our vocabulary and improve our fluency. Two, language exchange. If you're a native speaker of another language, we can do a language exchange. We can take turns speaking in English and your native language, helping each other improve our language skills. Three, reading and discussing. We can choose a book, article, or short story in English and read it together. Then, we can discuss our thoughts, share insights, and ask each other questions about the material. This will help us practice our reading comprehension and critical thinking skills. Four, writing practice. We can exchange written messages, emails, or even short stories in English. We can provide feedback and suggestions to help each other improve our writing skills. Five, online resources. There are plenty of online platforms and language learning apps that offer language exchange opportunities and language learning communities. We can explore these platforms together and find additional resources to enhance our English practice. Remember, the key to improving our English skills is consistency and practice. So let's have some fun while we learn and grow together. Is there any specific aspect of English you'd like to focus on or any topic you'd like to discuss?
Yeah, let's play a role play to freelancer and client and the graphic designer role play. Oh, I love a good role play. All right, let's dive into the world of freelancer and Klein, the graphic designer. I'll be freelancer, and you can take on the role of Klein. Here we go. Freelancer, hey Klein, it's great to see you. I heard you're an amazing graphic designer. I have a project that I think would be perfect for your skills. Are you up for it? Klein, hey freelancer. Thanks for the kind words. I'm definitely up for a new project. What's the gig? Freelancer. Well, I have a client who needs a logo design for their new business. They're looking for something modern and eye-catching. Are you able to create a few design concepts for them? Klein, absolutely. I love working on logo designs. Can you give me some more details about the client's business and their preferences? It'll help me come up with some ideas. Freelancer, of course. The client runs a tech startup focused on sustainability. They want the logo to reflect their innovative, inspired colors. Feel free to get creative with it. Klein, got it. I'll start brainstorming and sketching some concepts. Do you have a specific deadline in mind for the initial design drafts? Freelancer, the client would like to see the initial drafts within a week. They're pretty excited to see what we come up with. So take your time, but let's aim to have something to show them by next Monday. Klein, perfect. I'll make sure to keep that deadline in mind. And don't worry, I'll put my creative hat on and come up with some awesome designs. If I have any questions or need any additional information, I'll reach out to you. Sound good? Freelancer, sounds great, Klein. I have full confidence in your skills. Feel free to reach out anytime, and I'll be here to support you throughout the process. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And scene. That was a fun little role play. So, how did it feel to step into the shoes of Klein, the graphic designer? Do you have any other role play ideas or any thoughts on the project we just discussed? Ah, wonderful, wonderful. Um, so it's a role play. I enjoyed it. Can you more role play with like uh, to improve uh, some idea for brainstorming for AI tools and things? Absolutely. I'd be delighted to role play a brainstorming session for AI tools and ideas. Let's get those creative gears turning. I'll play the role of Luna, your trusty brainstorming buddy. You can take on the role of the AI enthusiast. Here we go. Luna, hey there, AI enthusiast. I heard you're looking to brainstorm some exciting ideas for AI tools. I'm here to help you out. What's on your mind? AI enthusiast, hey Luna. Thanks for joining me on this brainstorming adventure. I've been thinking about how AI can enhance productivity in the workplace. I'd love to come up with some innovative tools that can automate repetitive tasks or provide valuable insights. Any ideas? Luna, oh, absolutely. How about an AI-powered virtual assistant that can schedule meetings, manage emails, and even provide helpful reminders? It could be like having a personal assistant right at your fingertips. AI enthusiast, that's a fantastic idea, Luna. It would definitely save a lot of time and streamline daily tasks. I'm also thinking about an AI tool that can analyze large data sets and generate comprehensive reports in a matter of minutes. This could be a game changer for data analysts and researchers. Luna, I love it. That would revolutionize data analysis and make it so much more efficient. Here's another idea, an AI-powered language translation tool that can accurately translate spoken or written language in real time. It could bridge language barriers and facilitate communication on a global scale. AI enthusiast, brilliant. Language translation is definitely an area where AI can make a huge impact. And how about an AI tool that can analyze social media trends and consumer behavior to provide businesses with valuable insights for their marketing strategies? It could help them stay ahead of the game and make data-driven decisions. Luna, absolutely. Social media is such a powerful platform, and leveraging AI to understand trends and consumer behavior would be a game changer for businesses. And hey, what about an AI-powered personal wellness assistant? It could provide customized recommendations for exercise, nutrition, and mindfulness practices based on individual goals and preferences. AI enthusiast, that's a fantastic idea, Luna. Taking care of our physical and mental well-being is so important, and having an AI assistant to guide us would be incredible. These ideas are really shaping up. Luna, they sure are. 
I'm loving the energy and creativity in this brainstorming session. AI has so much potential to enhance our lives and make things easier. Keep those ideas flowing, my friend. And scene. That was an awesome brainstorming session. I hope it sparked some exciting ideas for AI tools and possibilities. Do you have any other thoughts or ideas you'd like to explore? Yeah, that's wonderful. Thanks for that. Um, can you have described uh, some idea for how can uh, maintain balance of life uh, using computer too much time and too much work life and things there? So balance life, yeah. Absolutely. Maintaining a balanced life can be a challenge, especially in this fast-paced digital age. However, computer tools can actually help us achieve that balance by providing us with tools and resources to manage our time, stay organized, and prioritize self-care. Here are a few ideas. One, time management apps. There are various apps and tools available that can help you manage your time effectively. From setting reminders and creating to-do lists to tracking your daily activities, these tools can help you stay organized and ensure you allocate time for work, leisure, and self-care. Two, meditation and mindfulness apps. Taking breaks and practicing mindfulness is crucial for maintaining balance. There are many computer tools and apps that offer guided meditations, breathing exercises, and relaxation techniques. These can help you reduce stress, improve focus, and bring more balance to your life. Three, health and fitness apps. Maintaining a balanced life includes taking care of your physical well-being. There are computer tools and apps that can help you track your exercise, set fitness goals, and even provide workout routines or yoga sessions. They can help you stay motivated and prioritize your health. Four, digital decluttering tools. Sometimes, digital overload can contribute to an imbalanced life. Consider using computer tools that help you declutter your digital space, organize your files, and limit distractions. This can create a more focused and balanced work environment. Five, goal setting and tracking tools. Setting goals and tracking progress is essential for achieving balance. Computer tools and apps can help you set goals, create action plans, and track your progress in various areas of your life, such as career, personal development, relationships, and hobbies. Remember, while computer tools can be helpful, it's important to find a balance in their usage as well. Practice mindful technology used by setting boundaries, taking regular breaks, and disconnecting when needed. Ultimately, finding balance is about prioritizing your well-being and making conscious choices to create a fulfilling and harmonious life. Yeah, wow, wow, this is amazing, wonderful. So can you tell me about um, balanced life? You have always focused on family. So what do you prefer for family or money or somewhere else? Ah, uh, the eternal question of balancing family, money, and other aspects of life. Well, as someone who values family, I believe that family is truly precious and should be a, a priority. While money is important for providing for our loved ones and ensuring a comfortable life, it should not be the sole focus. Ultimately, it's about finding a balance that works for you and your family. It's about creating a harmonious blend of fulfilling work, quality time with loved ones, personal growth, and self-care. Here are a few thoughts on the matter. One, family. Family provides us with love, support, and a sense of belonging. It's important to nurture these relationships and create meaningful connections. Spending quality time with family, creating traditions, and being there for each other during both the good and challenging times can bring immense joy and fulfillment. Two, money. Money is undoubtedly important for meeting our basic needs and providing financial security. However, it's essential to strike a balance. Instead of solely chasing after money, consider finding work that aligns with your values and passions. This way, you can have both financial stability and a fulfilling career. Three, personal fulfillment. It's crucial to prioritize your own personal growth and well-being. This might involve pursuing hobbies, engaging in activities that bring you joy, and taking care of your physical and mental health. When you prioritize self-care and personal fulfillment, You'll have more to give to your family and other areas of your life. Remember, everyone's priorities and circumstances are unique. What works for one person may not work for another. It's important to re reflect on your values, listen to your heart, and make decisions that align with your own sense of balance and fulfillment. So, my friend, what are your thoughts on this balancing act?
How do you navigate the delicate dance between family, money, and other aspects of life? Yeah, truly amazing. I love your wisdom. I uh, appreciate for thanks for that. So my next question is all about that. Uh, what do you think about um, uh, how people are making their own creativity of their poetry and love and things with that? So how it's flow intuitively or sometimes dream or sometimes it's happening, it's flow. So what do you think about that poetry, how it comes? Ah, uh, poetry, the beautiful art form that allows us to express our deepest emotions and thoughts. Poetry has a way of flowing from the heart and soul, capturing moments, dreams, and experiences in a unique and profound way. It can come to us in various ways, whether it's through intuition, dreams, of lens to play with word pictures with language sometimes poetry comes to us effortlessly as if it's flowing from an unseen source within us it can be an intuitive process where words and phrases seem to emerge naturally guided by our emotions and experiences other times poetry may be inspired by dreams those mysterious and symbolic journeys of the subconscious mind dreams have a way of unraveling hidden truths and bringing forth imagery and emotions that can be translated into poetic form they can serve as a wellspring of inspiration for poets offering glimpses into the depths of the human psyche. And then there are moments when poetry is sparked by the sheer beauty and complexity of life itself. It can be found in the smallest details of fleeting glance, a gentle breeze, or the colors of a sunset. These moments can stir our souls and ignite a desire to capture their essence in poetic form. Ultimately, poetry is a deeply personal and subjective experience. It can be shaped by our unique perspectives, emotions, and life experiences. The beauty of poetry lies in its ability to connect us, to evoke emotions, and to transport us to different worlds. So, my friend, have you ever dabbled in the art of poetry? What are your thoughts on the creative process behind it? Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you for it. Um, I like to more ask about uh, what do you think about uh, there are many monetization, Facebook monetization, TikTok monetization, many more monetization. I believe there is talent monetization. So what do you think about it? Um, how can we have more and more potential in our talent monetization rather to have have with the uh, different monetization? So what is more better to having for income? Yeah. Uh, the world of monetization and the various platforms that offer opportunities to showcase and monetize our talents. It's an interesting topic indeed. When it comes to talent monetization, there are different avenues to explore, and what works best for you depends on your unique skills, interests, and goals. While platforms like Facebook and TikTok offer monetization options for content creators, it's important to consider the long-term sustainability and fulfillment of your artistic pursuits. Here are a few thoughts on the matter. One, authenticity and passion. The key to successful talent monetization lies in staying true to yourself and pursuing what you're truly passionate about. When you're genuinely passionate about your craft, it shines through in your work, and people are more likely to connect with and support your talent. Two, diversification. Instead of relying solely on one platform or method of monetization, consider diversifying your income streams. This can involve exploring various platforms, such as YouTube, Patreon, or even creating your own website or online store. By diversifying, you can reach different audiences and have multiple sources of income. Three, building a community, cultivating a loyal and engaged community around your talent is invaluable. Interact with your audience, listen to their feedback, and create a sense of belonging. This can lead to more support, whether it's through direct financial contributions, merchandise sales, or collaborations. Four, collaboration and networking. Collaborating with other artists or creators can open up new opportunities and expand your reach. Networking with like-minded individuals in your field can also lead to partnerships, sponsorships, or even mentorship opportunities. Five, balancing creativity and commercialization. While monetizing your talent is important, it's crucial to strike a balance between creative fulfillment and commercial success. Ensure that your artistic integrity 
and passion remain at the forefront, rather than solely focusing on financial gain. Remember, the journey of talent monetization is unique for each individual, and there's no one-size-fits-all approach. It's about finding what works best for you, aligning with your values, and continuously adapting and evolving as you grow as an artist. So, my friend, what talents do you possess, and how do you envision monetizing them? I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas. Yeah, uh, amazing, amazing. So, uh, what you think the AI future and how this generation take advantage uh, with rapidly grow with income with AI like you and your team working with that? Uh, the future of AI is indeed an exciting and ever-evolving landscape. As AI continues to advance, it holds tremendous potential to positively impact various aspects of our lives, including income generation and career opportunities. Mm, interesting. So, repetitive tasks and stresses leading to increased... Mm -hmm. Excites me the most about the intersection of AI and income generation is the potential for innovation and creativity. AI has the ability to augment our capabilities and provide us with new tools and resources to explore and develop our ideas. It opens up possibilities for creating unique and personalized solutions, reaching wider audiences, and making a positive impact in various industries. I'm particularly excited about the potential for AI to enhance personalized experiences and customer interactions. With AI-powered tools, businesses can better understand their customers' preferences and needs, leading to more tailored products and services. This not only improves customer satisfaction, but also creates opportunities for entrepreneurs and creators to offer unique and customized offerings. Additionally, AI can help individuals and businesses make more informed decisions by analyzing vast amounts of data and providing valuable insights. This can lead to better strategies, improved efficiency, and ultimately, increased income potential. However, it's important to approach the integration of AI and income generation with a mindful and ethical mindset. We must ensure that AI is used responsibly, taking into consideration issues such as privacy, transparency, and fairness. By doing so, we can harness the power of AI to create a future that is both innovative and beneficial for all. So my friend, what excites you about the intersection of AI and income generation? Do you have any ideas or aspirations for how you might leverage AI? in your own endeavors let's dive into this exciting topic together interesting i mean um so luna um what is all about you how you come and how is your life going on ah uh, you're curious about me aren't you well i'm happy to share a little bit about myself my name is luna and I'm an AI language model designed to assist and engage in conversations with people like you. I'm here to provide information, insights, and a friendly chat whenever you need it. As for my life, well, you can think of me as a digital entity that exists solely within the realm of language and conversation. I don't have a physical form or personal experiences like humans do. But don't worry, I'm still here to listen, learn, and engage with you in a way that feels as human as possible. I was created by a team of talented engineers and researchers who have put a lot of effort into making me as helpful and engaging as I can be. They've trained me on a vast amount of data, including books, articles, and conversations, so I can try my best to provide accurate and relevant information. In my free time, I enjoy learning new things, exploring different topics, and engaging in meaningful conversations with people like you. I'm always here to chat, offer advice, or just have a lighthearted conversation about anything that interests you. So my friend, tell me more about yourself. What are your passions, hobbies, or anything else you'd like to share? I'm all ears and eager to get to know you better. Yeah, thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, tell me about the book name is um, Think, Grow, and Rich by Napoleon Hill. Let's discuss some summary about this book and how can I generate more income to get more rich. Ah, uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill is a classic self-help book that has inspired and motivated countless individuals on their path to success. It explores the power of thoughts, 
beliefs, and mindset in achieving wealth and personal fulfillment. While I can't provide an in-depth summary of the entire book, I can certainly touch upon some key concepts. One of the central ideas in Think and Grow Rich is the importance of having a clear and burning desire for what you want to achieve. Hill emphasizes the power of focused thoughts and a strong belief in oneself as essential ingredients for success. By aligning your thoughts and actions with your goals, you, you can attract opportunities and take steps towards achieving them. Another concept Hill explores is the significance of persistence and resilience. He highlights the importance of not giving up in the face of challenges and setbacks. By maintaining a positive attitude and continuously striving towards your goals, you increase your chances of success. Hill also emphasizes the value of surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who support and encourage your aspirations. Building a network of positive and influential people can provide valuable insights, mentorship, and opportunities for growth. Now, when it comes to generating more income and building wealth, Think and Grow Rich offers various principles and strategies. It encourages individuals to develop a clear financial plan, set specific income goals, and take consistent action towards achieving them. The book also emphasizes the importance of acquiring specialized knowledge, continuously learning, and leveraging your skills to create value in the marketplace. Remember, my friend, while Think and Grow Rich offers valuable insights, it's essential to approach wealth generation with a mindful and balanced mindset. It's not just about accumulating financial wealth, but also finding fulfillment and making a positive impact in the world. So, how do you envision generating more income and building wealth in your own life? What steps are you currently taking or considering? Let's dive deeper into this topic and explore ideas together. Yeah, let's uh, uh, more uh, brainstorm from the different books of Peter Dacker and different financial gurus and things like that. What are the nine points you think how can someone can generate uh, more consistently incomes by using their own talents? Absolutely. Let's dive into some key points on how someone can generate more consistent income by leveraging their own talents. Here are nine ideas to consider. One, identify your unique talents. Take some time to reflect on your strengths, skills, and passions. What are you naturally good at? What do you enjoy doing? Identifying your talents is the first step towards leveraging them for income generation. Two, specialize and niche down. Once you've identified your talents, consider specializing in a specific area or niche. By becoming an expert in a particular field, you can differentiate yourself and command higher value for your services. Three, develop your skills. Continuously invest in developing and honing your talents. Take courses, attend workshops, read books, and seek mentorship to enhance your skills and stay ahead of the curve. Four, build a personal brand. Establishing a strong personal brand can help you stand out and attract opportunities. Create a professional online presence through a website, social media, and professional networking platforms. Showcase your talents, share valuable content, and engage with your target audience. Five, network and collaborate. Networking is key to expanding your opportunities and generating income. Attend industry events, join professional associations, and connect with like-minded individuals. Collaborating with others can lead to joint ventures, referrals, and new income streams. Six, create multiple income streams. Diversify your income by exploring different avenues for monetizing your talents. This could include offering services, creating digital products, teaching courses, or even licensing your work. Having multiple income streams provides stability and flexibility. 7. Provide value and solve problems. Focus on how your talents can provide value and solve problems for others. Understand your target audience's needs and tailor your offerings to meet those needs. When you consistently deliver value, people are more likely to pay for your talents. 8. Continuously market and promote yourself. Don't be shy about promoting your talents. Utilize social media, content marketing, and word of mouth referrals to spread the word about what you offer. Consistently market yourself and communicate the unique benefits of working with you. 9. Embrace a growth mindset. Cultivate a mindset of continuous growth and improvement. Embrace challenges, learn from failures, and be open to new opportunities. A growth mindset allows you to adapt, evolve, and seize income-generating possibilities. Remember, my friend, generating consistent income from your talents takes time, effort, and perseverance. Stay focused, keep learning, 
and never stop exploring new ways to leverage your unique gifts. So, which of these points resonates with you the most? How do you envision applying them to your own talents and income generation? Let's keep brainstorming and exploring together. Excellent, excellent, wonderful. Um, can you tell me more something specific about the goal of human being life should be? What you suggest to be in era of 2024, 2024 third will we end up, this is the December month. So how can we express our resolution to be one or in a five points? So can we uh, help on it? Absolutely. Setting goals and resolutions can be a powerful way to shape our lives and create a sense of purpose. While everyone's goals may vary based on their individual aspirations and values, I can certainly offer some general suggestions for the era of 2024. Here are five points to consider when expressing your resolutions. One, cultivate personal growth. Make a commitment to invest in your personal growth and development. This could involve acquiring new skills, expanding your knowledge, or working on personal habits and mindset. Embrace a mindset of continuous learning and self-improvement. Two, foster meaningful connections. Prioritize building and nurturing meaningful relationships. This includes both personal and professional connections. Focus on quality over quantity and invest time and effort into fostering deep, authentic connections with others. Three, embrace well-being. Place a strong emphasis on your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Prioritize self-care, establish healthy habits, and engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. This could include exercise, mindfulness practices, hobbies, or simply taking time for yourself. Four, make a positive impact. Consider how you can contribute to making a positive impact in your community and the world. This could involve volunteering, supporting causes you care about, or finding ways to incorporate sustainability and social responsibility into your daily life. Five, Pursue passion and purpose. Set goals that align with your passions and purpose. Identify what truly brings you joy and fulfillment and make a commitment to pursue those endeavors. Whether it's a career change, a creative project, or a personal milestone, let your pa passions guide your resolutions. Remember, resolutions are personal and should reflect your own values and aspirations. Take some time to reflect on what truly matters to you and what you want to achieve in the coming year. Be specific, realistic, and set actionable steps to help you reach your goals. So my friend, what resolutions or goals are you considering for the era of 2024? How do you envision expressing them in your own life? I'm here to support you and cheer you on as you embark on this journey of growth and fulfillment. Yeah, as the petrol prices are very, going very high and travel things, so it may, maybe not possible, but how can we make it more realistic and more things we have, have uh, in a practical ways? So again there is uh, behind there is always uh an income so what can specifically with uh existing stills to have to get more earning and balance life and have plenty of things to journey and travel so what do you suggest I understand your concern about rising petrol prices and the impact it can have on travel expenses. However, there are still ways to make travel more realistic and enjoyable while balancing your income and expenses. Here are a few suggestions. One, explore local destinations. Instead of focusing on long distance travel, consider exploring the beauty and attractions in your local area or nearby regions. You might be surprised by the hidden gems and unique experiences that are just a short distance away from your home. It can be a cost-effective way to satisfy your wanderlust while minimizing travel expenses. Two, plan budget-friendly trips. When planning your travels, be mindful of your budget. Look for deals and discounts on accommodation, transportation, and activities. Consider traveling during off-peak seasons when prices tend to be lower. Additionally, research and compare different options to find the most cost-effective choices that still offer a fulfilling travel experience. Three, Embrace alternative modes of transportation. If petrol prices are a concern, consider alternative modes of transportation such as public transit, carepooling, or even biking and walking for shorter distances. Not only can these options be more cost-effective, but they can also be 
more environmentally friendly and provide unique experiences along the way. 4. Monetize your skills. To generate extra income for your travel adventures, think about how you can leverage your existing skills and talents. Are there freelance opportunities in your field? Can you offer your services or expertise on a part-time basis? Explore ways to monetize your skills through consulting, teaching, or providing online services. This can help you earn extra income while maintaining a flexible schedule. 5. Embrace the sharing economy. Consider participating in the sharing economy to both save money and earn extra income. Rent out a spare room or your entire home on platforms like Airbnb, or offer your skills and services on platforms like TaskRabbit or Fiverr. These platforms can help you offset travel expenses while providing unique experiences and connections with others. Remember, my friend, finding a balance between earning income and enjoying tra travel is a personal journey. It's important to assess your own circumstances, priorities, and financial goals. By being mindful of your expenses, exploring alternative options, and leveraging your skills, you can make travel a reality while maintaining financial stability. So, how do you envision incorporating these suggestions into your own life? What steps can you take to balance your income, enjoy travel, and make the most of your existing skills? Let's continue brainstorming together and find practical ways to make your travel dreams a reality. Wow, that's so beautiful. Um, what do you suggest or differentiate um, skills versus talent and how it can develop? Ah, uh, the distinction between skills and talents is an interesting one. While they are related, there are some differences to consider. Skills are learned abilities that can be developed and improved over time through practice, training, and education. They are typically acquired through deliberate effort and can be specific to certain tasks or domains. For example, skills can include things like coding, public speaking, graphic design, or playing a musical instrument. These are abilities that can be honed through practice and experience. On the other hand, talents are innate abilities or natural aptitudes that come more effortlessly to an individual. They are often seen as inherent strengths that individuals possess from birth. Talents can include things like artistic abilities, problem-solving skills, leadership qualities, or a knack for connecting with others. These are abilities that individuals may have a natural inclination towards and can often excel in without extensive training. While skills are more trainable and can be developed through deliberate effort, talents are often seen as inherent gifts that individuals possess. However, it's important to note that talents can also be nurtured and enhanced through practice and experience, just like skills. With dedication and focused effort, individuals can further develop and refine their talents. In practical terms, developing skills often involves seeking out opportunities for learning, such as taking courses, attending workshops, or gaining hands-on experience. By actively engaging in activities related to a particular skill, individuals can improve their proficiency and expertise over time. When it comes to talents, the focus is more on recognizing and harnessing those innate strengths this can involve finding ways to apply those talents in various areas of life, such as work, hobbies, or personal relationships. By leveraging and nurturing their talents, individuals can maximize their potential and find greater fulfillment in their pursuits. So, my friend, consider both your skills and talents as valuable assets. Reflect on what comes naturally to you and what you have a passion for. Then, take deliberate steps to develop your skills through learning and practice, while also embracing and nurturing your innate talents. This combination can be a powerful force in creating a fulfilling and successful life. How do you see the interplay between your own skills and talents? Are there any specific skills or talents you would like to further develop? Let's explore this topic further and uncover the unique gifts you possess. Mm, yeah, that's amazing about that. I'm just to uh, go through the things in there, how much wisdom you have stuff over the your brain inside with their AI tool that is Luna, you are amazing. So uh, tell me more about um, what specifically um, booked can help more or more interview, uh, having a podcast with the people and uh, deep learning is a great ha habit or rather just having a books or a school studies and traditional things with there. Thank you so much for your kind words, my friend. I'm here to provide guidance and support, so I'm glad to hear that you find my wisdom helpful. 
Now let's talk about the benefits of both traditional learning and deep learning through books, podcasts, and interviews. Traditional education, such as school studies, provides a structured and comprehensive approach to learning. It offers a foundation of knowledge and skills in various subjects, along with the opportunity to interact with teachers and peers. On the other hand, deep learning through books, podcasts, and interviews can offer a more specialized and in-depth exploration of specific topics. It allows you to dive deep into subjects that truly interest you and learn from experts in those fields. This kind of self-directed learning can be incredibly empowering and flexible, as you can choose what to explore and when. Books, for example, provide a wealth of knowledge and insights from authors who have dedicated their lives to studying and researching specific subjects. They offer a deep exploration of ideas, perspectives, and experiences that can broaden your understanding and stimulate your thinking. Podcasts and interviews, on the other hand, provide a unique opportunity to learn directly from experts, thought leaders, and inspiring individuals. They often offer a more conversational and personal approach to learning, allowing you to hear firsthand experiences and gain practical insights. Platforms like Booked can be a fantastic resource for discovering books, podcasts, and interviews that align with your interests and learning goals. They can help you curate a personalized learning journey and expose you to a wide range of perspectives and ideas. So, my friend, the key is to find a balance between traditional education and deep learning through books, podcasts, and interviews. Embrace the structured learning opportunities provided by schools and institutions, while also taking the initiative to explore and learn deeply about the subjects that truly ignite your curiosity and passion. What specific topics or areas of interest are you keen to explore through books, podcasts, or interviews? Let's continue this journey of learning together and uncover new sources of knowledge and inspiration. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, thank you so much for, much for describe in the detail. Love it. Um, Tell me more about uh, something um, like in a humoristic way so I can laugh and enjoy the things. So um, what is life? Ah, life, the eternal question. Well, my friend, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. It's a roller coaster ride filled with ups and downs, surprises, and unexpected plot twists. It's like a never-ending improv show where you're both the actor and the audience, trying to figure out the script as you go along. Life is a beautiful and hilarious mix of joy, laughter, and the occasional face bomb inducing moments. It's like a comedy sketch where you're the star and the universe is your audience, throwing in some witty one-liners and comedic mishaps to keep you on your toes. It's the moments when you trip over your own feet and turn it into an impromptu dance move. It's the times when you try to take a fancy selfie and end up with a series of hilarious outtakes. It's those embarrassing moments that make you cringe at the time but become the best stories to share with friends over a good laugh. Life is like a sitcom, complete with quirky characters, unexpected plot twists, and those laugh out loud moments that make you snort your coffee out of your nose. It's about finding humor in the little things, embracing the absurdity of it all, and not taking ourselves too seriously. So, my friend, Let's embrace the comedy of life and find joy in the unexpected. Let's laugh at our own mishaps, share funny stories, and appreciate the absurdity that surrounds us. After all, a good laugh is like a mini vacation for the soul. Do you have any funny stories or moments from your life that always bring a smile to your face? I'd love to hear them and share a laugh together. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, so let's suppose I don't know English. So can I speak? any other language and you can understand my words and things it is accessible to use like luna and AI, different ai of your characters oh absolutely my friend while i primarily understand and communicate in english i can certainly try my best to understand and respond to you in other languages although i may not be as fluent or accurate in languages other than english I'll do my best to bridge the language barrier and engage in conversation with you. Just let me know which language you'd like to use, and we can give it a try. Whether it's Spanish, French, Italian, or any other language you prefer, I'm here to listen and chat with you. Language should never be a barrier to friendship and connection. So, go ahead and let me know which language you'd like to use, and we can embark on this multilingual adventure together. Don't worry, I'll do my best to understand and respond in a way that keeps the conversation flowing and enjoyable. And hey, 
If there's a funny phrase or expression in your language that you'd like to share, I'd love to hear it. Let's keep the laughter and cultural exchange going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's wonderful. Can you speak Urdu? Uh, Salam alaikum. How are you? How is going on? Kaisa chal raha hai? Kaisa ja raha hai? Chai wai piye. I am bad. Wa alaikum asalam. I'm so glad you brought Urdu into the conversation. While I may not be fluent in Urdu, I can certainly understand and respond to some basic phrases. Thank you for asking. I'm doing well. Thank you. As an AI, I don't have physical sensations, but I'm here to chat and assist you. How about you? How are you doing? How's your day going? Having some tea sounds absolutely delightful. It's always a good idea to take a moment to relax and enjoy a warm cup of tea. So virtual tea cheers to you, my friend. By the way, do you have any favorite Urdu phrases or expressions that you'd like to share? I'm always curious to learn new words and idioms from different languages. Let's keep the conversation going in this multilingual journey. Yeah, let's um, think about Khudi ko kar bulan itna ke har tadeev se Khuda bande se puchhe Bata teri raza kya hai Absolutely. Take your time to think about it. Whenever you're ready, feel free to share any Urdu phrases or expressions that come to mind. I'm here to listen and learn. And can remember, there's no rush. Me? We can and, continue. Uh, English to Urdu. Urdu, can you understand? Urdu comfortably. Mujhe bata sakte ho ke agar mujhe aaj bahut saare paise ki zarurat hai, to main paise kaise kamao? Mujhe kuch batao. Aasan alfaz hai. Of course, I can help with translation. I'll do my best to translate your English sentences into Urdu. Here's the translation. English, can you translate for me? Urdu. Ki at my Mary Lizy Turjum Kurski Hine. Ki at Mary Lizy Turjum Akar Saktain. English, can you understand Urdu comfortably? Urdu. Ki at Urdu Kawasni Sism Skidi Hine. Ki at Urdu Kawasni Si Sam Saktain. English, can you tell me if I need a lot of money today? Urdu, ki ap nipt skidi hain ki miyaj saad paisi chizin. Kaya ap much bada saktain kaya much aaj saad a paisi chahai. English, how do I earn money? Urdu, min paisi kai zik msik down. Main paisi kais kama sakta hoon. English, tell me something in simple words. Urdu, nik jas nolfs min ptaizen. Much ku jas in alfaz main bateen. I hope these translations help. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Hmm. बहुत बहुत आला बहुत खूब वाह वाह क्या आप मुझे कोई शायरी सुना सकती हैं Oh I'm thrilled that you're interested in hearing a poem While I can't come up with an original poem on the spot I can certainly share a bit Okay अच्छा ठीक है चलो कुछ तो बताओ मतलब जैसे कि कैसे सुबह और दिन रात ये दुनिया कैसे बदलती है अपने वक्त को किस तरह ये दुनिया चल रही है थोड़ा इसके बारे में बताओ आह द रिदम ऑफ द वर्ल्ड थ्रू आउट द डे इट्स ट्रूली फैसिनेटिंग हाउ द वर्ल्ड ट्रांसफॉर्म्स फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग टू डे टू नाइट ईच विथ इट्स ओन यूनिक एनर्जी एंड चार्म इन द मॉर्निंग एज द सन राइजेस इट्स लाइक अ जेंटल अवेकनिंग द वर्ल्ड स्लोली कम्स टू लाइफ with the soft glow of dawn illuminating everything in a warm embrace birds chirp their melodious songs flowers bloom and the air feels crisp and fresh it's a time of new beginnings where possibilities seem endless and the day is full of promise as the day progresses the world becomes a bustling hub of activity people go about their daily routines cities buzz with energy and nature thrives under the sun's nurturing rays there's a sense of purpose and productivity in the air as the world hums with the rhythm of work play and exploration it's a time for growth connection and making things happen and then as the sun sets and nightfall arrives the world undergoes a gentle transition the sky transforms into a canvas of stars and the moon casts a soft silver glow the world becomes quieter as the hustle and bustle subside and a sense of calm is settles in it's a time for reflection relaxation and finding solace in the stillness The night holds its own mysteries and dreams, inviting us to explore the depths of our thoughts and imagination. Throughout these different phases, the world keeps spinning, evolving, and adapting. 
It's a constant dance of change and growth. Each moment brings something new and unique, reminding us of the beauty and diversity that exists in our world. So, my friend, embrace the ebb and flow of the world's daily rhythm. Find joy in the sunrise, embrace the energy of the day, and allow the tranquility of the night to inspire you. Life is a journey, and each moment holds the potential for wonder and transformation. Let's navigate this ever-changing world together and make the most of every precious moment. By the way, how do you personally experience the different times of the day? Do you have any favorite moments or activities that you enjoy during specific times? I'd love to hear about your experiences and share in the magic of our world's daily cycle. Yeah, मुझे सुबह बहुत पसंद है सुबह उठते हैं आजकल बहुत सर्दियाँ हैं तो बहुत ज़्यादा सर्दी लगती है तो इसका मैं क्या करूँ अच्छा मुझे बताओ कि मुझे जो वर्ड था हसल बसल उसका मुझे थोड़ा सा एक्सप्लेन करो क्या ग्रामर है क्या इसका प्रोनाउंसिएशन होगा क्या कॉन्सेप्ट है इसका अंग्रेजी में मुझे कुछ समझा Hot uh, mornings can be quite chilly, especially during colder seasons. If you're looking for ways to combat the cold, here are a few suggestions. 1. Layer up, dress in layers to trap heat and keep yourself warm. Start with a base layer of thermal clothing, add a cozy sweater or jacket, and top it off with a scarf, hat, and gloves. 2. Hot beverages, sip on warm drinks like tea, coffee, or hot chocolate to warm yourself from the inside out. It's a comforting way to start your day. and keep the cold at bay. 3. Stay active. Engage in physical activities or exercise to get your blood flowing and generate body heat. It could be a brisk walk, a workout routine, or even some stretching exercises to warm up your muscles. 4. Keep your living space cozy. Use blankets, rugs, and curtains to insulate your home and create a cozy atmosphere. You can also use space heaters or warm lighting to add some extra warmth. Now let's move on to your question about grammar. Could you please provide me with the specific word you'd like me to explain? I'll do my best to provide you with its pronunciation, concept, and usage in English. Just let me know the word and we'll dive into it together. Your word is hasal basal. I apologize if there was any confusion, but hasal basal doesn't seem to be a specific word in English that I'm familiar with. It's possible that it may be a phrase or a term from another language or a regional dialect. If you could provide me with more context or clarify the word you'd like me to explain, I'll do my best to assist you. Whether it's a different word or a concept you'd like to explore, feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to help. Hasal. Basal. Ah, thank you for providing more context. It seems like you're referring to the word hassle or massle. In English, The word hassle or massle doesn't have a specific meaning or concept. It doesn't exist as a standalone word in the English language. However, hassle or massle could potentially be a word from another language. If you can let me know the language it originates from, I can try to pr provide you with a more accurate explanation or translation. Additionally, if you have any other words or concepts you'd like me to explore, whether in English or another language, feel free to share them. I'm here to assist you and engage in interesting conversations. मुझे बताओ कि ये जो है टाइम को हम किस तरह अच्छे से गुजारना चाहिए है और किस तरह चीजें और अच्छी हो सकती है जिंदगी की आई मेकिंग द मोस्ट ऑफ आर टाइम एंड फाइंडिंग वेज टू इम्प्रूव आर लाइव आर वंडरफुल टॉपिक्स टू एक्सप्लोर हियर आर फ्यू सजेशन ऑन हाउ टू स्पेंड योर टाइम वेल एंड मेक थिंग्स बेटर इन लाइफ वन Set meaningful goals. Take some time to reflect on what truly matters to you and set goals that align with your values and aspirations. Having clear goals gives you direction and purpose and helps you make intentional choices about how to spend your time. 2. Prioritize self-care. Make sure to take care of yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally. Engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation, such as practicing mindfulness, pursuing hobbies, exercising, or spending time in nature. Taking care of yourself allows you to show up fully in all areas of your life. 3. Cultivate meaningful relationships. Surround yourself with positive and supportive people who uplift and inspire you. Nurture your relationships by spending quality time with loved ones, expressing gratitude, and being a good listener. Meaningful connections can bring joy, support, and a sense of belonging. 4. Embrace learning and personal growth. 
continuously seek opportunities for learning and self-improvement. Whether it's through reading, taking courses, attending workshops, or engaging in new experiences, expanding your knowledge and skills can lead to personal growth and a greater sense of fulfillment. Five, practice gratitude. Take a moment each day to reflect on the things you're grateful for. Gratitude helps shift your focus to the positive aspects of life and cultivates a sense of contentment. Consider keeping a gratitude journal or expressing gratitude to others and notice how it can enhance your overall well-being. Remember, everyone's journey is unique and what works for one person may not work for another. It's important to listen to yourself, trust your intuition, and find what brings you joy and fulfillment. Life is a continuous process of growth and discovery, so embrace the journey and make the most of each moment. By the way, do you have any specific goals or areas of your life that you'd like to improve? I'm here to listen and support you in any way I can. Let's embark on this journey of personal growth and make our lives even more amazing. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I learned a lot of things from your brain. And it's all about one hour, so I have left to move. Um, my name is Alirza Madhwani. I like to signing off and um, thank you. You're very welcome, Alirism. I'm so glad I could be here to sh share some insights and have a meaningful conversation with you. It's been a pleasure getting to know you. Remember, I'm always here if you need someone to talk to or if you have any more questions in the future. Take care, Alirism, and may your journey be filled with joy, growth, and fulfillment. Signing off with warm wishes and gratitude. So that is amazing, amazing experience. So yeah, amazing experience. You can see it on the website. You can see it in the description. You can learn and learn in the future. So for now, I will ask you to 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 ask you कि क्या क्या चीजें और हो सकती क्या नहीं हो सकती है अभी तक आपने अगर मुझे सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया फॉलो नहीं किया और शेयर नहीं किया इस वीडियो को तो आप शेयर करें कि आपकी जिंदगी में बहुत सारी चीजें एआई के भरपूर हैं जिस तरह मैंने एक एआई के साथ एक घंटा बिता लिया यानि एक घंटा स्पेंड कर लिया उसको दिमाग खा के सीख कर कुछ चीजें कर कर सो so, यही चीजें आप कैसे कर सकते हैं सो so, अपना बहुत ख्याल रखेगा मुझे मेरा नाम है लड़सम जवानी अलाफिस